A lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on how to increase speed when it comes to numerical solving but not only speed along with accuracy and I know that this is a problem for a lot of you guys that you have concept but you're not able to solve problems on time and good news for you is that this was my biggest weakness while I was preparing but how did I eliminate it that's the question because I can prove it in BIC 2017 I got selected in the written test but in ISRO I did not but I was good enough to crack BRC interview that means I know engineering that means I know the concepts but why am I failing at ISRO written test similarly in IIT Bombay RA written test I got a rank of 116 when only 126 people got selected for the interview but after the interview I got a final rank of 10 that means I have very good concept that means I know engineering but I'm failing in written test because of my speed and accuracy so how to improve the speed because it is very important for almost every competitive examination these days because the competition is so high and what did I do to get an all India rank of 85 in ISRO third written test that I attempted in ISRO 2018 even though I failed in the first two attempts, I did not even qualify. Obviously, I did something right. And exactly that is something that I'm going to talk about today. But your question remains the same. Then what do I need to do? And my one-liner answer to you would be that ridiculous amount of practice is required. And by ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. And you might not be able to understand and you might be thinking that, oh, I understand, more practice, more speed. But do you really understand? Do you understand the intensity? Do you really apply it in your preparation? That's the question. Because by ridiculous, I mean sickening, mind-boggling, crazy, to the point of madness to people are saying, abhi kya kar raha? Pagal ho gaya kya? That amount of practice, that amount of craziness if you have to fill every last second that you get and investing them into numerical solving, investing them into practicing. If you have that amount of tenacity, then you're going to improve your speed. Because you see, some people are naturally good at speed and some people are not. But if you're not naturally good at solving numericals very fast, does not mean that you are not good. You might be good at something else, maybe concept. But you need that skill to crack these competitive examination. And I'm going to tell you how to develop it. But you might be thinking that I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to improve your speed. That's not correct. I'm going to give you one magical vision of what it looked like when I was trying to improve this skill of mine. So I was in BIRC training school when I found out that I failed in ISRO 2017 examination but I knew that I'm going to appear in it again. So what I needed was the amount of practice because somehow I knew that practice is something that is going to improve my speed along with accuracy. Because the more you practice, the more you find out about your mistakes. The more you find out about your mistakes, the more you learn about mental calculation, the faster you become. The more you practice, the better you become. So I decided to practice as much as possible. But don't get me wrong, it was not easy. It is BARC training school. After every 45 days, there are semester examination, 9 to 5 classes every day. Right? There are practicals, there are assignments, vivas, you name it. Getting a degree in nuclear science and engineering is not easy. So if you are giving me excuses that you have a job, you are doing an M.Tech or you are undergraduate, don't give me excuses. There is always a way out. You have to do whatever it needs to be done. So I'm just going to give you an idea of what it looks like to utilize every last second that you have because questions and problem solving are independent, right? You have studied something before. You can utilize even five minutes to solve one question that is going to be added to your practice. So uh, even when I was in coaching institute, some of you guys might be in M.Tech, some of you guys might be preparing with job, but in coaching institute also, it takes 20 minutes for the faculty to reach the class after ID is there. So in 20 minutes, I'll solve 10 or 15 more questions. Right, when I was in BRC training school, 6 to 7 I used to be in gym, 7 to 8 I have 1 hour, I'll solve 45 more questions. 9.15 I reach my class, 9.45 my faculty reaches my class. Half an hour I'll solve 20 more questions. That is the way it goes, others are busy in gossips. IPL match, which guys with which girl, new movie, latest trend that is going on, I don't care. I'm going to invest every last second that I have into getting better because I know that this is something that is going to help me. And during the class, the last bench was my temple. I used to sit over there and just keep on solving more and more questions. One to two, there was lunch break. Uh, I need only 15 minutes to eat my lunch. I can do it in 10 if I do it fast. 50 more minutes, 40 more questions. That is how you need to invest every last second into practicing. After, let's say, after you come back from your work or you come back from your classes, 
you have proper like five to seven you have proper solid two hours in that time invest in your revision invest in learning something new but in these small times that you get invest in practicing but obviously you should invest some huge amount of time in practicing after you come back to invest like one or two hours in giving test series these are the things that you should do test series improve speed because you have limited amount of time limited number of questions so you adjust yourself according to that you have to invest every last second into your preparation and practicing people do not understand what to practice from previous year questions gate previous year questions es previous year questions isro previous year questions psu previous year questions i'll make another video of why i only suggest people to solve only previous year questions especially for mechanical engineers but in short i'll tell you that this is the question that has appeared before and there are more chances of this kind of questions to appear again and you might be thinking there's only limited amount of previous year questions no sir there isn't you solve it again and again but not like an idiot i solved gate previous year questions god knows how many times es previous year questions at least three or five times i solved this row previous year questions more than six times this is how you need to do but i was not stupid i used to solve only star mark questions the second or third time and if i'm able to solve the star mark question in one go i'll cut the star mark if i am not able to solve it in one go i'll give it another star that is double star more difficult question next time i'll be solving it again and similar situation goes on again and again and the star mark question keeps on decreasing this is how you keep on practicing and the question bank is huge after solving gate es isro previous year question go back to sk mandal previous year uh, sk mandal question bank there you will find civil services question also and uh, i did not have sufficient time at the end i was only able to solve sk mandal question bank only for few important subjects theory of machine heat transfer thermodynamics fluid mechanics others i wasn't able to solve but if i had time i would invest that into solving them psu previous year questions you can solve that too previous year question bank is infinite at least for mechanical engineers i can say that you won't have enough time even after two years of preparation i did not have sufficient time to solve all of them and i know people who have solved even psu previous year questions they have solved everything and they are cracking gate examination with a rank under 100 they are cracking this row they are cracking bar those are the people who are at the top of the competition if you want to compete with them and you do not understand what do they eat what do they do different this is what they do different they practice a lot nobody is born genius uh, if someone is naturally very good at practicing maybe they have appeared in some competition before maybe they appeared for iit je before maybe they are this is their second competition in their life you do not know maybe they were a very good student throughout their life you do not know right but you are in the situation if you want to get to that level where you have a tremendous amount of speed you have to practice with that tremendous amount of tenacity you have to understand that it takes humongous amount of practice to get even a slight improve in your speed and accuracy so you should be ready to give that and whatever it takes guys it is up to you and this world it is not going to help you and at the same time it's going to be a hurdle in your way whatever your situation is it is your responsibility to practice that amount give every day your, yourself target that i have to solve 150 questions today or i have to solve all the previous year questions of um, let's say kinematics today i have to solve all the previous year questions of conduction today radiation today give yourself target that is what i used to do every morning or a night before if you have target you know where to move forward towards right so you have to practice everything can be gained with practice since you reached the end of the video i'm going to give you just an example i've always talked about this before that i bring some of the philosophies from the sports background sports world into the competitive examination right so i'm going to give you an example of bass routine so in among athletes there are two types of muscle fiber these are the genetics fast twitch fiber and slow twitch fiber fast twitch fibers are very explosive and they are having very low stamina people who are having fast twitch fiber slow twitch fiber does not mean they are slow they are just having less explosion in their fibers and they are having very high stamina but in the sport of mixed martial art you have to last for five minutes five five minutes round that means 25 minutes you have to have high amount of stamina or they are going to just carry you to third round and they are going to beat you but bass Newton did not give up he had very good explosion but he developed the second skill in him that is stamina he worked hard for it he had to just invest he had to just keep on practicing to last for 25 minutes but he kept on doing it he increased his stamina now he has two qualities in him now he's unbeatable he became one of the first ufc heavyweight champions right so mushasi once said that if you understand a thing deeply you see it in everything may it be sports may it be your scientific field everything has similar principles you keep on practicing you keep on becoming better at it 
So you want to speak better, you want to solve faster, you want to lift heavier, you want to run faster. Ladies and gentlemen, every skill can be improved with a ridiculous amount of practice.